me live to talk about recycling electronics. Is Scott Weislow. He's the director of recycling and waste management at Best Buy. And uh, why must we recycle those electronics? Why can't we just throw them out to the trash? Well, that's a great question, Amy. Thanks for asking that. I would tell the people in Detroit that, you know, throwing out the electronics, not a great idea. They contain a lot of hazardous materials like lead solder, flat panel TVs have mercury tubes. It's the largest growing waste stream on the planet, so we do want to keep that out of the landfills. So what's going on there behind you this morning? Uh, right behind me, we're at Electronic Recyclers International at their Indianapolis plant, and they're processing a lot of the e-waste that comes into their facility, about 200,000 pounds a day, actually. All right, so what are some of the do's and don'ts of recycling electronics? Another great question. So for the folks in Detroit, what you want to do is you want to make sure you're aware of your local laws. Can you even throw these products away? And again, as we talked about, you don't want to do that. Take them out of the landfill. Second, if it has personal storage, uh, hard drive, flash drive, wipe your personal data off before you take it in. And then third and probably most important, take it to a responsible recycling location, say a Goodwill or a municipal drop-off location or any of our stores around the country. How come we can't, I mean, can we sell some of these items for money or are most of them just kind of out of date? That's a, another great question. Some of them have value if they're not too old, and so you can certainly take them into a facility that has a trade-in program and maybe get some of that value, sell it on eBay. But the majority of e-waste, it's old, it's outdated, so you, you do want to get it in to have it recycled. Yeah, I ran into this actually just a few days ago. I found some old laptops, went on to a website, I think one of those, Gazelle or yeah. something like that, and that, and it wasn't worth any money because it was just too old. So yeah. um, you mentioned, yeah. I think you said the Salvation Army, but what are some other locations that will take this? And then what are those items turned into? Uh, two great questions. So again, you know, check your local municipalities. There may be some hazardous waste drop-off dates and locations. Uh, Goodwill and certainly our Best Buy stores around the country. And then your second question, what happens to these materials? They get broken down and they go into the commodity streams where they come back in Second Life. Um, glass off flat panel TVs may come back as a digital watch face. Plastics might come back as furniture and so on. There's lots of uses for the material. Awesome, Scott. So any more tips for recycling on this Earth Day? Uh, you know, I think the big thing to remember is wipe your data off those hard drives because you don't want that getting out and make sure that it's going to a responsible location for processing. All right, Scott Weislow, thank you so much for this uh, live report this morning and you have a great Earth Day. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me on, Amy. Well, Apple is going green. The tech giant will start offering free recycling of all its used products and devices.